Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can access the database of Biostar 2 when it is installed on MariaDB. So as MariaDB is the part of MySQL, so in order to access the MySQL, uh, we need a workbench. Just like for MS SQL, we need a SQL Server Management Studio or you can say Management Studio. Likewise, for accessing the MariaDB, we will need MySQL Workbench. So very first thing what you need to do, you need to get the MySQL Workbench downloaded on your system. So for that, what you can do, you can simply look for MySQL Workbench on Google. You can go to this download page directly and from here you can download the installer. What Suprema suggests? Suprema says to go ahead with the 6.3.10 version. So you can go ahead with the latest one as well or you can go ahead with the older version as well. So for going to getting the older version what you have to do you just have to click on this archive button and from here you can select that specific version which Suprema is suggesting that is like 6.3.10 so I am also going to do the same so I will select this 6.3.10 version I will download this it will hardly take few seconds to download for me ok it's downloaded here now I will run this install there might be chance during your installation it may ask few things like visual c++ redistribution package and all so if it is asking for you, whatever it is asking, you just have to simply Google it, download it and install it. It's not a big deal. So you can download it and install it anytime. So now I'll simply hit next. I need the complete installation. I'll close this complete install. So it is getting installed. It won't take much longer. It's like until it's not starting. Once it's started, it will go like zoom. So yes. Here it's like it's done almost. So it's done. Now it's simply saying launch my MySQL workbench. So I'll use the same or else what I can do, I can simply look for MySQL workbench. So I can get it from here as well. Now if my MySQL workbench is open, what first I need to do, I just have to create a connection for my MariaDB database, which is a Biostar 2. So what I can do, I can click on this plus button. I'll name this connection name as Biostar 2. Now I'll use the same IP address of my system, which is like 127.0.1, which is the loopback IP address or else I can use my IP address of the system. So currently what I am going to do. I will be referring like that Biostar 2 setting page option. So this Biostar 2, I'll check the port and host name and all. Here you can see the host name Biostar 2 has by default taken is like 127.0.1 and the port is 3312. So I'm also going to use the same and here I'll use the port name as it's 3312. I'll click on store in vault so that next time I don't need to put the password. Now this password is of Biostar 2 database. It's like MariaDB database. Uh, during the installation of Biostar 2, it asks two times password if you are using the express edition. One is the login password and the second one is the database password. So this password is must to remember. So in my personal suggestion, I always use the login password and the database password same. If you can remember, you can keep both separate separate. So for now, I'll put my password here. I'll click OK. I'll test the connection. Continue. It says it's successful. I'll hit OK and OK. So here my connection is created. Now what I have to do, I just have to click on this will make it continue it's the same because it's an older version so now if you see okay i'll ju i just don't want this i want this okay i want this so there's any query if i'm executing i can get it from here now you can see 
Here we have all three databases that AC database, TNA database and VE database. Just like MS SQL, we can use almost all similar queries here as well. To it's like I'll use this, use AC. So here my database is selected. Likewise, if I'm if I'm going to select the tables and all, so I can simply scroll it down and select it from here. If we have to select any specific table, so I can simply write down the same query like select star from t underscore usr so this is like this is the table where all the user details are saved but as you can see all these user details are encrypted the reason behind this in my biostar 2 my encryption is on currently so if i just turn on the biostar 2 i'll log in and show you So if I just go to security here, so you can see this encryption is on. If we disable this encryption, then we'll be able to view these details properly. If you are going to use it any integration level from the database directly, so it is recommended to just disable this database. That's it for this. See you in the next video.